Welcome back for another repair video. We have another Nintendo Switch. Hopefully this one is an easy repair. Uh, hopefully they're all easy repairs, but they're not always easy repairs. This one has a bad charge port, and I will try to get you a close-up of that and insert it right in here. But uh, I can definitely see bent pins in here. Uh, otherwise, it's in really good shape. I mean, the screen's in good shape. It doesn't look bent. And I really like the feature of it has all the screws. All the screws are in it, and none of them look chewed up like, like someone's tried to take it apart. So I'm hopefully this one is, uh, you know, fairly unmolested and we can uh, get in here. It has the kickstand. Uh, I still have yet to replace one of these charge ports. Um, the last one I worked on that needed a charge port, the pads were ripped off the board, so it just was a no-go. But uh, I, have, uh, I have some charge ports. I've got three of these, I think. So if I mess up on the first one, we can try another one. But um, hopefully this will be a reasonably easy repair. Just swap out the charge port and, and go. So let's see. Let's get along with it. Get on with it. Well, I noticed before I took it apart even that this battery is loose. It's just kind of laying in here. It doesn't look like they ever made an effort to glue it down, like they didn't remove the backing, and it's like this barrier has been changed. So, I'll do a quick check to see what this uh, battery voltage is. Get the meter in the shot. That doesn't show up very good, does it? Oh well. It makes me wonder if somebody changed this battery out in, a, in an attempt to fix the problem. Okay, this battery is dead. Actually, measuring negative voltage. Yeah, very, very dead. So, I could, since I have this other switch apart and I've charged the battery in it, I could temporarily, oh, I just noticed something, there's a chip out of the aluminum right here, like where they tried to pry the battery out. That's cracked. This is cracked right here. So somebody had some fun prying that battery out. Um, I guess they thought that was the only problem they had. So I'm just kind of curious, before I take it all apart, I'd like to see it come to life, it's always a good thing. I can either try to charge this battery or swap the other battery in there. I don't have the other battery out of the case. I'd have to like lay the cases next to each other. <clears throat> we might do that. Because this battery is pretty dead. It's, it would take quite a while to charge it up. Let me see if I can get this other case. I've got it set to the side here of the last one I worked on that I could not repair because of the torn traces. Let's see if we can find it. Here we go. If I can somehow arrange this around to be able to connect it, then you can just go out of the way entirely. Now let's see how can we do this. Probably something like this. Almost. All right, I connected it. Let's see what we have. And it does not power on. Joy. This may not be another, just may not be just a bad charge port. 
I'm rather oh it came undone it came undone don't give up hope yet uh, you know what this battery connector is damaged looks like the latches are damaged on the side of it <clears throat> It doesn't stay very well. Let's try that power button. Hey, there we go. We're booting up. All right, that looks totally normal. Looks like it has been uh, had a factory default, factory reset done on it. Because it's back at the uh, give me some joy cons. Okay, so maybe that's all we need is um, a charge port. I can power this down. Oops. Oh, come on, power button. There we go. So yeah, that uh, if we can see it, the uh, battery latch, one side of it's damaged right there. So I may have to uh, do a little hot glue or something once we get done to just keep that from popping off. Because I'm afraid, you know, if you were to give it a good jar, it might just pop right out. We are fully reassembled and at the point of testing I have put the heat sink back down uh, just in case and off camera I've been charging the battery that came in this unit it was reading zero volts it's up to 3.8 right now so should be able to uh, at least some somehow, somehow charge this battery a little bit maybe Okay, I kind of ran through the setup. As you can see, we do have a battery indicator. What I want to see now is, though, do we have a charge indicator when I plug this in? Well, come on, get in there. Hmm. Like we do. Hope I don't have a damaged uh, charger here. This came with it. I'm not. I'm not really sure of its status. Let me look down in in this thing. This is about the point I realized that I had uh, damaged the connector when I soldered it on. 
you can see here I melted the leading edge of the USB connector so that's why the cable wouldn't plug in there properly so I got to remove it and replace it and here you can see me installing the second connector which um, went along went on pretty good um, and this time I was, I was more careful about getting the heat off of it once the connector was up there um, I, that's where I messed up the first time it, it went on good it's just that uh, I had to uh, I, I put too much heat on it after it was secured trying to make sure it was soldered well and so anyway I, I learned from that I, I damaged that first connector but the second one went on really well and turned out well so hopefully that's all we have to do I've installed the second connector and we are at the point of testing it out I, I've, I've again I've been charging the battery off camera because the battery had like no power it, it, it was flashing the whole time so there'll be a little bit of charge on this battery but not that much I figure maybe 10 percent so here's our battery I think I have everything back in there properly let's see plug this in so and that lays right in there like uh, like so and I have my little USB meter here so maybe we can tell what's going on try to keep that in the shot if I could don't have enough hands let's see what happens hey you were charging 200 milliamps that's encouraging we're charging Yeah, I'm going through an extension cable, so the voltage is like 4.42. It really drops the voltage down. But that's encouraging. Is it on? It is on. And it is indicating that it is charging. And the battery just fell out again. Because it's not taped in. Wake up. All right, we're charging. Oh, sorry, you can't see it. There you go. So, uh, we're charging at least. That's some progress. This is my, this is my uh, second connector I put in. I, I did melt the first one. Um, so we still have to uh, check to see if it will dock, that kind of thing. Let's see if I have, I didn't have, did not have touch earlier, but I also did not have one of the ribbon cables um, locked down. Oh yeah, we got touch now. Excellent. We are charging. I wonder how much charge do we have? Oops, not what I want to do. Um, system. Um, console battery. Here we go. On. And how do you go back? Here we go. 19%. And charging. Okay. So let me put this uh, a little more back together and we will give it a little better check out Alright, one of the last pieces of the puzzle we need to check out here is will it dock? I'm going to remove my switch and we'll pop this one in here. I do not have the back on it yet. So I'm going to ease it in here and let's see if we can get dock working. Yes. Alright, she works on the dock. And we're charging. All right. Well, that's about it for this one. Looks like it's going to be a winner on this one. Uh, thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed it at all, please give me a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.